There, gentlemen. Thank you so much for your assistance. Invite everybody to just come in and make use of the chairs that are available. There's these here and some over on the other side too.
We'd like to invite everybody to come on in and get our program started here. My name is Rex Wade. I'm the branch president at Maple Springs here in, Nor in Logan. And I've had the honor to be here today and preside at this funeral. Wanda Smith was born July 26, 1925 in Hyde Park, died September 7, 2024, North Logan, Utah. Our pallbearers will be Travis Ricks, Brandon Smith, Dylan Smith, Travis Smith, Jason Smith, Kyle Smith, and Ryan Smith. Honorary pallbearers are Jaden Clegg, Mason Herber, Paul Hootzinger, Kent Peterson, Patrick Rosier, Clayton Smith, Nicholas Smith, and Colton Smith. Our opening prayer will give be given by I didn't get the whole word in here. Oh, Hutzinger? E EJ. E okay, that's a whole name, EJ. Okay. <laughs> After the opening prayer, Meyer, Meyer Lynn, Buck, and girls will give the life sketch following a musical number by the grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Flam families can be together forever. Then we'll have a spiritual message by Kevin Smith. And then we'll have a dedication of the grave by Michael Smith. We invite everybody to come up and use the microphone. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are so incredibly blessed and we are so thankful to thee for all of thy many blessings. We're grateful for this beautiful day. We are grateful for the opportunity to be here to celebrate Mother and her wonderful life. We're so grateful for the love that she has taught all of us. We are grateful for the time that we have had with her and that it has been extended and we have had so many wonderful years to share. We are especially grateful to thee for the plan of salvation, for knowledge that we will all be together. We're grateful for our knowledge that she is with dad and with the rest of the family. We are so we find so much peace in, in that blessing. We pray now that thy spirit will be with us and we will know those things that thou would have us be doing. In the name of thy beloved son, our dear savior, Jesus Christ, amen.
Wanda Ashcroft Smith graduated from this mortal experience in the early morning hours of September 7th, 2024, after completing 99 years and 43 days of valiantly devoting her life to family and church. Grandma was born on July 26, 1925 in Hyde Park, Utah to Henry Dell and Merle Thurston Ashcroft and lived her whole life in Hyde Park until she married. She loved growing up in their old adobe two-room home where they had a, the modern convenience of running cold water and electricity but had to rely on the cooking stove as their heat source during the cold winter months. This would cause the walls to sweat and then condensation would freeze, enabling her and her brother Rulin to ride on the walls and frost with their fingertips, much to the chagrin of their mother. Outside of the home were rose bushes from starts that were brought over from England by their grandmother, Marianne Hawks. That would fill the air with their fragrance. Grandma acknowledged with deep gratitude her noble heritage. We are thrilled at the perspective of the joyous reunions taking place. One event that took place early in grandma's childhood was when her grandmother Thurston's home burned down. In the middle of the excitement, her mother, who was eight months pregnant, disappeared. A few minutes later, she exited the burning home carrying a beautiful keepsake doll that mom was given a few years earlier as a Christmas present and was being stored in an upstairs storage closet. That doll was about the only thing safe from the upstairs and was a priceless treasure to grandma throughout her life. Grandma attended school in Hyde Park and graduated from North Cache High. We would often hear her singing, here's to you, old dear North Cache. She made many lifelong friends there and had many influential teachers that impacted her greatly. She had beautiful penmanship as a result of the classes taught by our Homer Hyde, who was the principal of Hyde Park Central School. She enjoyed math and English and developed a love of reading. One of her favorite subjects was reading about Abraham Lincoln. After graduation, she found employment first at the Cache Valley Council Boy Scouts of America and then a short time later accepted a position at Sears Roebuck and Company as their personal clerk and timekeeper. Part of her responsibilities there included operating the switchboard. Years later, one young returning serviceman who had just been hired in the sporting and good department would buzz the operator and ask for a line. Mom would later joke that she fed him a line and hooked him. With that, she had met her eternal companion, Daryl Smith although it took some time for her to realize just how deeply she felt for him. Mom and dad were married in the Logan Temple on June 2nd, 1948. Together they raised two daughters and four sons. After marriage, Grandma devoted her life to being a mother and a homemaker. As children came into their world, Grandma added to their finances by being as economical as she could. She maintained a large garden, did her own canning and preserving, and sewed most of hers and the kids' clothes. She made wonderful homemade meals and was a master of making homemade bread and rolls, raspberry, strawberry, and marmalade jams, and caramels during the holidays. Thanksgiving dinners were held for the entire family for over 15 years until the family became too large and had to be broken up to multiple homes. Dinners were still held at home for many more years, but with smaller numbers. Thanksgiving dinners always included the special treat of Grandma Hernan's plum pudding with caramel dip. Mom loved to crochet and spent countless hours making afghans for each child, grandchild, and most of her great-grandchildren. The afghans have now become priceless treasures to us. She enjoyed listening to Aggie basketball, the Utah Stars, and the Utah Jazz, with John Stockton being her favorite. Grandma served in many different capacities in her beloved 10th Ward, having lived most of her married life there and making cherished friends along the way. She held positions in the Relief Society in both the ward and stake and served in the primary, including as primary president. She was faithful in her callings and supportive of Grandpa in his callings as well. She got to meet many general authorities through Grandpa's pro through grandpa's callings. Her greatest and proudest accomplishment were the name extraction program in which she spent 32 years in service of extracting German names from old records in preparation for their temple work to be accomplished. She had many faith promoting experiences when after struggling to make out a name or a city, she would suddenly have the information appear before her eyes. She received a special recognition certif certificate signed by President Thomas S. Monson for her service. Again, she made lifelong friends during that time.
Mom was preceded in death by her husband, Daryl A. Smith. Her parents and brothers, Adrian, Rulin, and Mariner. Mom is survived by her children, E.J. Hunsinger, uh, with her husband, Bob, in Hayward, California, Merlene with her husband, Frank Buck, Murray, Utah, Michael with his wife, Catherine Smith, Bloomfield, Colorado, Kevin with his wife, Sue Smith, Boise, Idaho, Brad with his wife, Laurie Smith, Smithfield, Utah, Larry with his wife, Cindy Smith, Nibley, Utah, her sister, Annette, Rigby, Idaho, 24 grandchildren and 58 great-grandchildren with one on the way. We'd like to invite all of the grandchildren and great-grandchildren up to uh, sing. <laughs> grandchildren and great-grandchildren. My mother loved us. That's one thing we know for sure. This was a uh, quote, a, a letter sent to Jeffrey R. Holland, and he quoted it in one of the conference talks, sent in by a, a mother and her feelings towards her children. And it's so applicable to, to uh, our mother, our loved one. It says, a wonderful young woman recently wrote to me, how is it that a human being can love a child so deeply that you can, that you're willing to give up a major portion of your freedom for it? How can mortal love be so strong that you voluntarily subject yourself to responsibility, vulnerability, 
anxiety and heartache and just keep coming back for more of the same. What kind of mortal love can make you feel once you have a child that your life is never ever your own again? Maternal love has to be divine. There is no other explanation for it. What mothers do is, essent is an essential element of Christ's work. Knowing that should be enough to tell us that the impact of such love will range between unbearable and transcendent over and over again until the safety and salvation of every last child on earth. We can then say with Jesus, Father, I have finished the work thou hast gavest me to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Our kind Father in heaven, by the authority of the Holy Melchizedek Priesthood, I dedicate this blood And sanctify it to be the resting place of the mortal body of Wanda Ashcroft Smith. And we pray that it will be protected and sanctified and watched over until the time of the resurrection. At this time, Father, we give thee thanks for the gift of thy Son. His great atoning sacrifice that makes all good things possible in our lives. We're grateful that Thou has given Him to us as a, as a sacrifice on Thy part, and for the sacrifice on His part. We're grateful for the plan of salvation that makes it possible to have families still together forever. We're grateful that her family has been settled together. And we pray that we can live righteously to have the blessings that are available for us. We pray for peace for the family as they remember the many great things that she has done and the gift of our Savior that brings peace and happiness and joy into all of our lives. We pray that the family will be comforted and guided and motivated by this knowledge and by her example to live the way we should, the way we, that she taught us, and the way we should teach our families. We pray that that will help us to leave from here with a firmer commitment to be diligent in following the way of the Savior to love and help each other and to follow his example. And that that love may continue throughout our lives and our families and extended families. And we pray for these things in the name of thy beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. Amen. We want to thank everyone for being here today and appreciate your attendance and what a sweet lady that Wanda was. She's a great lady. We loved her at Maple Springs and enjoyed visiting with her once in a while. And uh, I pray that the day will go well for the rest of you and it will be safe in your way home. So thank you.
At this time, uh, brothers and sisters, this concludes the services here at the graveside. And uh, I think that there's a luncheon that has, is being prepared for you. Uh, visit here briefly and then go and enjoy that luncheon.